Hi, so I'm gonna try and go over a workout that I do personally. It's uh, super quick. It's a workout that I took from Steve Bechtel of Climb Strong's Logical Progression book. I modified it slightly and it's different where I place it in my workout, but I'm gonna jump right into the workout itself and come back and explain why this is how I do it and uh, hop right in, thanks. Okay, so I'm gonna show the workout unedited just so you can see how quick it really is. Um, so all the walking in between and all that uh, are going to be shown just so this is a real workout. This is really how long it takes for one uh, one circuit. So here I'm doing a bench press. Again, this doesn't have to be a bench press. It can be any compound exercise or anything that you're working on. Uh, here I'm doing five reps, but I'll typically do five to ten reps depending on what I'm focusing on or the weight I'm working with. So then I'll step right into my finger exercise. Here I'm doing floor pulls. Um, I like floor pulls because you can walk right into them, not have to add any weight onto your body. Um, so here I'm going for five reps again. So I'll typically shoot for five to 10 reps on this as well. And with it being a two-handed version, you only have to do it uh, once, not once per side. So that is nice. And then once you're done, you can walk straight into your stretch and not have to worry about taking weights off of yourself. Um, another nice thing about the portable hangboard is sometimes in gyms you'll have the weight area and the climbing training area in separate parts of the gym. So you'd have to walk away to a different area to do your finger exercise. So having the portable hangboard allows you to leave it right next to where you're doing your compound exercise and walk right into it. You know, only take up a little bit of space and keep it all close by. And you can always do your stretch right there as well. So keeps it really close by, makes it a little bit faster and I have to walk in between different spaces. So here I'm finishing up a runner's lunge. So this is just something I typically do before I start climbing. So pretty typical stretch for me. And this whole series took about two and a half minutes or less. So you could do five sets in less than 15 minutes. So it's a pretty quick workout. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Okay, so to try and go over the differences between my workout and the one that Steve Bechtel lays out in Logical Progression, uh, I'll do my best shot, but I haven't read the book in a while, um, so this will be going off of memory. So in the book, he has you do a group A, a group B, and each one will actually have two compound exercises and a core exercise. So obviously in mine, I'm just doing the one compound exercise, the hangboarding or uh, floor pull, and then the stretch. Uh, for me, uh, I do this workout before <clears throat> my climbing. That works out really well for me because I have a really hard time warming up and lifting weights for me is the best way to warm up. So I'll start off light on my first one or two sets just to get my blood moving and get myself ready. I, I find that I can pull much harder too doing that compound exercise first before my hangboarding. So that's like a huge win for me. And then I really only take out the other stuff just for time's sake. So I'll just do this workout more often since I'm doing it before every climbing session. So I'll typically keep it a bit lighter than if I were to maybe put it at the end of my session, I wasn't worried about tiring myself out. Um, but I can always do whatever I have missed in my next workout. So I might do a deadlift one day, uh, a bench press the other, uh, or any other exercises like a squat or anything I would need to do. So for me, this has been the most efficient way to plan my workouts. Um, it's cliche, but I just had a kid and my time is very limited. So this has really allowed me to make my workouts much shorter. It's also a contingency plan, plan so to speak. Uh, I'm able to at least get in that 15 minute workout. And if my kid wakes up or somebody needs my help, I at least got that workout in or that workout and a little bit of climbing in. So it's perfect for me because it just it's so short uh, that it's so easy to complete. And then I'm able to go right into climbing pretty much. What I'll typically do, and I believe I got this from uh, Power Company Climbing, is a mobility on the wall. 
Um, so my first few climbs, or uh, maybe for the first 10 minutes or so of climbing, I'll practice things that I'm personally bad at, like high stepping, uh, anything that really kind of gets a little bit of a stretch or some mobility in until I go right into whatever my workout of the day is, whether it's projecting or trying to get in some more volume. But this is how I've done it. Um, so it may work for you, it may not. Ultimately, I'm gonna put a link in the bottom for Climbstrong. Uh, so you can go, you can get his book, you can read up on how he lays it out. And for the uh, shameless plug portion of the video, I did create this hangboard after doing this workout for a while. I, I really wanted a way to do two-handed pulls from the floor. There's plenty of stuff out there to do it with one hand. And so I actually designed and machined this. It worked really well for me. I used it for a solid month or two before I started offering it to anyone else. Uh, I have another video, but it is a textured aluminum. Feels a little bit more textured than most wood boards out there, so it's got a really nice texture. You're able to attach a carabiner directly to it, so the distance from here to the mounting point is much shorter than I think anything else on the market or anything you know, that's ever been made before to do this. So that makes it so you can have a longer loading pin if you need to stack more weight on it, because this is two hands, so you will need twice as, weight, uh, twice as much weight to do your floor pulls, um, but it is nice because it's also twice as fast and you know, half as many reps on your back, which I find is nice, even at the additional weight. I'd rather take more weight and do less reps. Personally, um, it also takes less time, so that's perfect. Um, not everyone has wanted to do it with two hands, um, whether it's because they don't have enough weight or um, you know just personal preference. So I did make a single hand version um, for anybody who wants that. It's got the same, uh, probably an even shorter distance from your fingertips to where the carabiner goes in. Um, and it is just a single 19 millimeter edge. Um, but for me, that's really the only edge I typically use 98% of the time when I'm doing floor pulls. Uh, for smaller stuff, I personally like to do um, hangs from a hang board. Uh, so this one I'm holding, very shiny. This is straight out of the machine. This is um, the prototype, uh, which will be coming out soon, as soon as I've just tested it myself for a while and made sure that it works, but there should be no reason it doesn't, um, but it will uh, have the texture of the, the larger board, the same texture. So that will be available soon, and it will be on my website when it is. Thank you.